It's awesome. It's killer. Slick waters, sun coming up. Got them blue and purple skies. Ain't nothing like it. Pretty fish. I guess right here is going to be the go to the grease a little bit. Sun coming over the trees. Lines on the water, slick water first thing in the morning, watching everything come to life. We're about halfway back in the creek right now. Um, about 14, 15 foot of water, and what we're looking for is these fish that are moving in the spawn. Water temperatures are pushing mid 50s, touching 60 in the afternoons in some spots. Some places on the lake are already in the 60s. So we're just, these fish are starting to move. The bait's following that warmer water, the fish are starting to follow the bait. These fish are going up to spawn and do what they need to do. So what we're doing in these creeks is we're catching them as they're going in and out. And these fish are moving nonstop. We're catching these fish moving in and out as we work these creeks. So got one right there. Pretty good fish. Oh, that big old white bass. Yep. That's another thing too, and you crab fishing, it ain't always crappy. <laughs> Big old white bass, perch. Mm -hmm. We'll catch, we'll get in here, we'll catch these perch, white bass, you'll catch, you'll catch the crab, I mean, you'll catch everything. Catfish as they start moving, pretty fish. So what we're doing today is we're pushing minnows and we've got a few jigs pushed up on there as well. So we're just running a double minnow rig like I do. Got a hook about 18 inches above my weight, below the weight. I've got about six to six to nine inches of line. And we're just, we're just pushing these minnows along. As we move into these creeks, we're gonna find the fish and we're located. We're gonna start, like I said, 13, 15 foot of water and then we'll kinda we're gonna move in and out. We'll probably push around some docks, push around a few piers, and find these fish kind of sitting up on these shallow points or up on these areas. We'll sit on these fish for a little while and see what we can do. Oh yeah, they're definitely here. So what we're doing is taking this minnow, taking this hook, and we're coming right through the lips, right through the bottom lip, up through the top just as thin as we can. So if I set the hook hard, I'm gonna rip him off, but I want that man to be hooked as light as possible. Bigly. Oh yeah, stay alive. I guess they call it spider rigging for obvious reasons, right? There. Oh yeah, it's like a big spider's got his legs sprawled out. <laughs> spider rigging, tight lining. Like I said, we're out here chasing these uh, pre-spawn fish. They're getting ready to push up, they're getting ready to spawn. So like I said, we're running our 14 foot uh, precision troll, medium heavy rods. We're double minnow rigging today. We also got some crappy monster baits on as well that we're pushing around as, out here as well. You know, we're giving them again kind of a double presentation, trying to see which, what they're going to jump on. We've caught a couple fish on minnows and we've caught a couple fish on these tipped with minnows. So I like using three quarter ounce lead. I want my, I want to keep my baits consistent where I know where they're at the depth wise. So when I'm moving around, I know if I've got them set to eight foot, I know I'm running eight foot. So that's the reason I like running heavy lead. Um, and we're moving around. I don't, I like to cover a lot of water. I don't sit real still. So there's a lot of times you're gonna see the boat, me and the boat, I'll be moving everywhere. But I, my whole goal is to cover a ton of water. Oh, missed it. 
when you're out here doing this, you know, you always get the questions, how fast should you go? How fast should I go? What speed should I be running? How much, you know, what should I use? Let the fish tell you what they want. Um, like I said, today we started out double minnow rigging and we're still pushing minnows, but we've also got plastic slid up. Uh, speed, we've caught them sitting still. And we've actually caught them running about 0 0.7, 0 0.8 pushing through here. Again, like I said, I run heavy lead, so I cover a lot of water. Um, don't be afraid to change up your baits, change up everything you're working on. Um, because the fish are going to tell you when they're ready to eat and let you know real quick if they want or they don't. Um, once you've keyed in on the depth, general area, uh, and your baits, focus on that. Um, today, when we fished, we started out in about 14, 15 foot of water. 10 foot of water was a sweet spot. We stayed in 10, 10, 11 foot. That's where it seemed like we had the majority of the fish. So water temperature is still uh, about 58 degrees. So they're sitting there as soon as it warms up. I mean, there's some fish on the banks already. They're not all gonna go the same time, but um, keep moving around till you find the fish. Don't, don't, don't get stagnant, I should say, in one area. Move around. When you find the active fish, that's when you'll get on them. So, but if you've got questions, if you've got uh, any comments or questions or anything you've got, be sure to reach out to, to me, Shane, the Yak and Lakes Crappy Guides, 336-978-3737. Uh, if you're interested in booking a trip or just want to talk tackle or if you need help setting your boat up or got questions on anything to do with fishing part of it, uh, give me a call. And if you've got stuff you need, electronics installed, we've got the people that we can get those for you. And we got guys that can do that as well. So. But uh, till then, we'll see y'all on High Rotten next time.